working on Gmetrics Multi Project 2. We're currently on Project 2, Feed Store. The first task asks us to go ahead and go on to the homemade pet food and then select the cell A9. And we're going to go ahead and import the new flavors text file. So um, it's not the insert file, it's actually on the data tab. We're in the get external data and from text. We'll go ahead and go to our Gmetrics templates folder and we'll select the new folders. Now, um, it tells us that this uh, has no headers, so we want to make sure that's not selected. And uh, it tells us that it's tab, so we'll click next. So we'll, we'll select that tab and then we can click finish, but if you're not sure, uh, click next and that just brings us to this screen right here where we can format the, the data here. We'll click finish. And then here it's just asking us exactly where we want to select it, but A9 is correct. And notice it went ahead and plugged that data in. We'll click Mark Completed. Task 2 asks us to go to the Feed Inventory Worksheet, and it's asking us to remove the hyperlink functionality in cell C33, but it wants us to keep the text. So with that cell selected, we'll go to the Insert tab. We're going to go all the way over here to Links, click Hyperlink, and then just click Remove Link. Click Mark Completed. Task 3 asks us to show the fencing worksheet located after the, the homemade pet food worksheet. So what we need to do is we can just go ahead and click right click on one of these tabs. We're going to click unhide and then click fencing. And we want to make sure that it went after the homemade pet food, which it did. So we'll click mark completed. Task 4 asks us to go to the homemade pet food worksheet. And it tells us that we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, format the data range A3 to E11. And it tells us that uh, we're going to make it into a table, and it says that we can apply any table style format. So um, what we could do, it's very easy, is go to the Insert tab and click Table and click OK. And it will put that formatting um, in there already. It's random, but it doesn't matter. We'll click Mark Completed. And then Task 5 asks us to go to the feed inventory and it tells us to resize the chart right here so that it only uh, shows on H3, which it begins on H3, and all the way to O19. And that should do it for us. We'll click Mark Completed.